Alright, so this video is going to be about cutting the tailboard using the bandsaw. You can see that the guard is quite a bit higher than it should be. You'd want to have that quite a bit lower to prevent accidents from happening. I've cut a wedge that has the ratio of 1 to 6. I also have a notch at this end. I use the notch to help make sure that my board is referencing in the same location because I like to have my dovetails be symmetrical. Um, and this just ensures that everything is in exactly the same location. As bandsaw blades have teeth that alternate back and forth from left to right, I want to make sure that I am referencing my line on the tooth that is pointing towards the fence. I don't want to reference off the center of the blade because if I do, then I'm going to cut more material than I want off of my dovetails. So I'm going to start the bandsaw. I'm going to push the board and the wedge into the blade. As you can see, I wasn't happy with where the fence was positioned. So I just am tapping it over to make some small minor adjustments. Once I'm happy with where the fence is, I'm going to plunge through. I'm going to stop before I get to my shoulder line. Um, that allows the bandsaw blade to catch up. As it's a flexible blade, I want to make sure that I'm not going to be cutting past my scribe lines. So by pausing and letting the bandsaw blade straighten back out, I run less of a risk of hitting those. Alright, so now that I've cut the angles on the edges, now I can turn off the blade and adjust my fence to make the next cut. I want to turn off the blade anytime I'm going to be moving the fence. If I have the guard up even higher um, and I move the fence while the blade is running, I run the risk of damaging the fence. I also run the risk of running my fingers into a moving bandsaw blade. So I always make sure that I turn off the bandsaw before making these adjustments. Depending on how well your bandsaw is set up, you might get an absolutely great cut. Our bandsaw blades at the shop are a little bit more aggressive, so they leave a very rough edge on the side of the tails. That's not usually a problem you have burning or smoking going on with the bandsaw, you may want to find a shop monitor and see if we can get the bandsaw out for you. By using the bandsaw, it allows me to make the cuts a little bit faster, and it also will guarantee that if my bandsaw is set up correctly, that everything's going to be nice and secure. Which for the next step with laying out the pins, that is working. 